Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Xiaomi 12T Pro. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 750 euros, which translates to roughly around 730 bucks. So for this video, we're gonna call this another $700 Android phone. Now this one comes in three different colors. You got black, blue, and silver. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. For the display, you got a 6.67 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1220 by 2712. That is 446 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front for protection, glass on the back with an aluminum frame. The phone is IP53 splash resistant. You got Dolby Vision, HDR10+, 1200 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got eight or 12 gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 12 with MIUI 13 skin on top. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 120 watt fast charge. Now Xiaomi claims you can charge this phone from zero to 100% in 19 minutes. Now you got dual stereo speakers tuned by Harman Kardon. And the best part about this phone, the camera. Check this out. On the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 200 mega, <laughs> let me say this correctly, a 200 megapixel wide angle lens. Okay, you heard that right, 200 megapixels. You got an eight megapixel ultra wide and a two megapixel macro sensor. Now you can shoot 8K video at 24 frames per second and 4K at 60 frames per second. On the front, you got a 20 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot 1080p 60 frames per second. Now the phone has Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, Xiaomi Super Wallpapers, IR Blaster, okay, and Second Space, also known as Thought Protection. All right, so all of that for 730 bucks, what's missing? No Quad HD display, no full IP68 dust and water resistance, no expandable memory, no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars, and my biggest thing about this phone that's missing is no wireless charge. Okay, 730 bucks, let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white, white shoes. shoes. Love Calm down. Now, I know what some of y'all getting ready to say. The Xiaomi 12 Pro is basically the same price right now. Which one should you get? Well, there's a couple of differences between the 12 Pro and the 12T Pro. Let's break it down real quick. Number one, the display. Now, the 12 Pro is more of a flagship phone. You got the Quad HD display. With the 12T Pro, Full HD. Next, the processor. Now, the 12T Pro has the latest and greatest Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1. With the 12 Pro, you got the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1. Now, here's one of the biggest differences, the battery. The 12 Pro, 4,600 milliamp battery that does feature 120 watt fast charge also. But with the 12T Pro, you got a 5,000 milliamp battery. Okay, so you're getting a little bit more battery. And of course, the biggest difference is the camera. The camera on the 12T Pro, the main camera, 200 megapixels. With the 12 Pro, 50 megapixels. But there's a flip side. The front camera on the 12 Pro is 32 megapixels. The front camera on the 12T Pro it's 20 megapixels. So this is um this is one of those times where, shout out to Xiaomi, you do got plenty of choices with phones. You got the regular 12, you got the 12 Pro, the 12T Pro, and if you want the big boy, get the 12S Ultra. And if you wanna get into the Fold game, you got the Mix Fold 2. Now, one thing that I'm never gonna complain about companies is giving us too many choices. Okay, so there's a phone for everybody. Now, before I unbox this, it's a shame that I gotta keep making this same announcement, but let's go ahead and get it out the way. Number one, 
I do not support the Chinese Communist Party. Now, shout out to my man Xi Jinping. Okay, a lot of people don't know he has a black brother named Jamal Ping. And I went to school with him back in the days. But all jokes aside, China has a lot of religious persecution, a lot of humanitarian issues going down, a lot of theft of intellectual property. I do not rock with the Chinese government like that. However, okay, however, this is a tech channel. My job is to show y'all new tech. So if you don't support China, please do not leave a long paragraph in the comments telling me oh, how, how I'm a sellout now and how China got me on the payroll and all that. Look, man, this is a tech channel. I review new tech. I don't care if the phone comes from Germany, Japan, okay, Switzerland, the USA, India. It doesn't matter who makes the phone. I'm going to review it on my channel and review it for what it is, a tech product. But I find it ironic, let me just throw this in there, that a lot of y'all cheese dicks be in the comments talking about, oh, I'm unsubscribing, you sub you rock with China, I'm unsubscribing. And then your dumb ass will go on TikTok, posting a video dance and look like a fucking idiot. Okay, half of the products that you got in your house right now are made in China. Half of the clothes you're wearing right now are made in China. Oh, as Donald Trump would say, China. Okay, so if you don't rock with China, I get it. Okay, I get it. But take all of those comments over to CNN, to OAN, Fox News, MSNBC, wherever you get your fake news from, go there. This is a tech channel. We're talking about tech. All of my tech lovers, you understand what I'm saying? We, we, we're looking at this as what it is, a tech product. We want to see the new phones and all of the new features, and that's what I'm going to do. Dramatic pause to let y'all know that I ain't playing. Okay, so here we go. Xiaomi 12T Pro. Nice white box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity. Let's see what you get inside. Okay, so you're going to open this up. You get a little, okay, little card right here. Let's see what's in here. Sim ejection tool. Now you got your usual books and shit. Pluck them, file them to the side. You get a case. Now this is an underrated feature. Okay, not really a feature, an underrated accessory or underrated option that you get with some of these Chinese phones. You get a case. That's kind of a big deal for me, at least. This is one-stop shopping, okay? You don't have to turn around and go on Amazon and look for some cases. You get a little gel skin case, not the fanciest case in the world, but a case nevertheless. This is gonna be your device. Now, on a side note, if you notice, my voice is getting back to 100%, so I'm getting ready to drop my full iPhone video. Let me just, let me just get this out the way too. Let me just, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, let me just flick. Let's, let's take a look at the rest of this first and I'll talk my shit later. All right, so this is the 120 watt fast charging brick. Where did I pull it out? Out of my back pocket? No. Okay, from Amazon? No. From eBay? No. Alibaba? No. In the box. Okay, in the box. This is where the charger belongs. Now, I gotta talk some shit right now because every time I do this segment of the video, I get the same comment. Oh, why are you always talking about the charger? Why are you always complaining about the charger? Let it go. No, I'm not letting shit go, okay? If I spent, let's go in my pocket. If I spend 1500 bucks on a phone, I want this in the box. Now, everybody said, oh, just use your old chargers. Your old charger is not 120 watts, okay? Your charger from your Samsung Galaxy S6 and your S7 that you had sitting in the closet, that is not a 120 watt charger. And not to mention, why wouldn't you want to complain? You just spent your money, why would you want less? That, that kind of blows my mind when people say, stop complaining about the charger in the box. Why you want less? I want everything that I'm deserved, everything that I'm owed. When I purchase something, I want everything that comes with it. Okay, and I want my charger in the box. Especially if you're gonna be advertising 120 watt fast charge, prove it. Now let's see, this is gonna be USB-A to USB Type-C charging cable. Let's go ahead and leave that. And that's pretty much it. And for the device itself, let's go ahead and peel this off. All right, shoes, shoes back, back, back on time. Here we go, let's get a little wipe down. All right, shoes, scoop, scoop. Bang, Xiaomi 12T Pro. Now look, you can say what you want about Xiaomi, but let's keep it a buck. As of right now, Xiaomi has, in my personal opinion, I, my humble, my very humble personal opinion, Xiaomi has the second best foldable phone on the market right now with the Mix Fold 2. Xiaomi has the second best candy bar style phone 
behind Galactus, Galaxy S22 Ultra 5 Gangster, Alpha Omega Supreme. Okay, this is the second best phone. And Xiaomi has a plethora. All right, I gotta bring out that word again. A plethora of mid-range, budget, and semi-flagship phones available to choose from. And one thing about Xiaomi, again, whether you love them or hate them, every time you buy a phone, you're getting an IR blaster, you're getting thought protection, and you're getting the charge in the box. A lot of these companies right now, they can't say that. Okay, but Xiaomi can. Now, I don't want to seem like I'm on Xiaomi's nuts, because <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> I'm really not. But at the end of the day, I give credit where credit is due, and Xiaomi brings out some dope phones. Now, this phone right here with the 200 megapixel camera, which I'm going to show you in a minute, I don't really like to talk about stuff too much. I like to show it, because I can talk about pixel density and cropping resolutions and all that. Nobody cares about that, especially me. All right, when I'm buying a phone, I don't really care about all of the specs on paper. As soon as I get the phone, I take it out and use it. How does it work in the real world? And I gotta be honest with you, the camera on this phone is pretty dope, and for 700 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. My only gripe with this phone is no wireless charge. But here's the thing. This is the hypercharge phone season. So right now we got three crazy hypercharge, and I would call these, I would call these low tier flagship phones. Okay, they're basically flagship, but low tier because none of these have quad HD displays. We got the OnePlus 10T, we got the Vivo IQ 9T, and the Xiaomi T. This is this, this is the, we got a whole bunch of T phones. And one thing that all of these T phones have in common is none of them have quad HD displays, none of them have wireless charge, but all three of them have 100 and above watt fast charging. So all three of these phones, you can charge from zero to 100% in under 20 minutes. Now, personally, if it was me and my money, which one would I pick? I would go with Xiaomi because out of all three of these phones, the Xiaomi has the best camera. It has the, mo the OS that has the most features. Now, these two have IR blasters, but Xiaomi, you get the super wallpapers. Both of these have excellent biometrics. Actually, all three have excellent biometrics. But in my personal opinion, I would go with Xiaomi first. Then I would go with the Vivo because I need that IR blaster and the M stripe and the OnePlus 10T. All right, this phone was pretty much dead on arrival because it's, it's, it's a boring Android phone. One of the things that makes the Xiaomi phone less boring is having an IR blaster, thought protection, and of course, the Xiaomi Super Wallpapers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and power this up and then we'll uh, delete my browsing history and walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, before I go in too deep, giggity, let me just answer that question one more time. If it was me and my money, which one would I get for around 700 bucks? Both of these phones are about the same price, the 12T Pro or the 12 Pro. Personally, I'm more of a flagship phone kind of guy, so I want all of the flagship features. I would go with the 12 Pro because I want the Quad HD display, I want the full IP68 dust and water resistance, and I want wireless charge with reverse wireless charging so I can charge up my earbuds and charge up other devices on the go. But if you're heavy into photography, you're gonna wanna go with the 12T Pro. The camera's a little bit better and you got better battery. Now everybody knows using the camera and taking videos drains battery faster, so you're gonna want a phone that has a bigger battery. That would be the 12T Pro. Okay, first things first, let's talk about the build quality. Y'all know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. IP53 dust and splash resistant. Okay, so it can get a little bit wet. Frosted glass on the back. Looks very beautiful. Aluminium frame with Gorilla Glass 5 on the front for protection. Now, let's talk about biometrics. All right, so I had to turn my face unlock on. But let's try it out. Now, you got a couple of different ways you can open up your device. You do got face unlock, so I'm just gonna look at the phone. Bang, there it is. Let's try three in a row. Bang, one more. Bang. Super fast, super responsive face unlock. Next, you got on-screen fingerprint sensor, which everybody knows Xiaomi makes probably one of the best fingerprint sensors in the game. And look how smooth and fluent this OS is. Now that's my Xiaomi Super Wallpapers. Let me show you how that works. Okay, now of course, you can swipe up and put in your pad and your pin. Now for the Super Wallpapers, this is my favorite thing about Xiaomi phones. Here's my always on display. 
when I press the button, you see it went to the planet. And then when I look at it, next view of the planet. Now I'll show you some of the different ones. One of my only gripes also is, Xiaomi, it's been a while. It's time to add some more super wallpapers. All right, there's only about five or six to choose from. We need about 20 of these, because these are so dope. On one side of the phone, here's your power button. You got volume up and down. On the top, speaker grill, IR blaster. Okay, remote control status. This side is nice and clean. On the bottom, SIM tray. No eSIMs, SIM tray. USB Type-C charging slot. And there's your second speaker. Now you got a little punch hole camera in the front. Okay, it does come with a screen protector, pre-installed. On the back, triple camera setup. Look how big that 200, 200 megapixel lens is. All right, looking juicy. LED flash. And again, frosted black. <laughs> frosted black. Frosted black, black. Frosted back, black. What is it? No, let me say it again. Frosted back is in black. <laughs> frosted back, black glass. <laughs> Y'all get what I'm trying to say. All right. Bong, this phone is dope. All right, so let's just breeze through it real quick. Now, this is the international version. So when you swipe over, Okay, you got your Google feed, 120 hertz refresh rate, nice and smooth. Android 12, so I got all my Android 12 widgets, fully interactable. MIUI 13. Let's, okay, somebody ring my bell. Let me go ahead and answer that real quick. All right, my bad. I think that might have been the delivery of the Google Pixel. All right, let me calm down. Let me calm down. We're going to get into that this week, though. All right, so let's go through the basic toggles. You got your auto brightness, screenshot, screen record, do not disturb, Dolby Atmos, okay? Dual speakers tuned by Harman Kardon. They should sound great. We'll put them to the test. You got me share screencast. Let's see, anything else? Okay, so you do got link to Windows, calculator, scan, Google Pay, all your basic toggles on deck. You swipe over, here's all your notifications, and you can exit out all of those at once. Let's take it over to settings. Now I'm gonna try to make this part quick. Let's go through connection and sharing. Okay, you got screencast, me share, VPNs, private DNS, I for your scumbag activities, NFC on deck. You got Android Auto and nearby share. You also got Chromebook. Let's go to always on display. Now, this is my one of my favorite things about Xiaomi phones also. Fully customizable, always on displays with a bunch of different themes to choose from. Okay, OnePlus, take notes. This is how you do it. Nobody wants just three or four always on displays to choose from. You got 100, and one of the best things is also, you can add a custom image. Okay, so say I wanna add something like, uh, let's go to gallery, to make sure I don't have any scumbag photos. Okay, say I wanna drop the beam. All right, we wanna put the beam as always on display. Drop it just like that, hit apply. And now look at the always on display. We got the beam. Okay, on-screen fingerprint sensor, bunch of recently used apps. Let's go back to settings. Okay, let's see anything else we need to see. Everything looks official tissue, sound and vibration. Okay, dual stereo speakers tuned by HK, I like that. Home screen, all the different stuff, nothing to really see there. Wallpapers, now this is what I do wanna show y'all. Let's go to my wallpapers. Let's go to, let's see what we got. Now look at this, you got a whole bunch of different ones to choose from. Okay, and I wanna show you super wallpapers real quick. Let's go to, oh, I was, a, <laughs> what am I doing? All right, let's go to profile, wallpapers. Here we go, super wallpapers. Okay, so like I said, you only got five to choose from. You got snowy peaks, geometry, faraway rings. Uh, you got home, that's the earth. E-A-R-F, the Earth, and you got the Red Planet. Okay, now, some of these you're gonna have to install. Let's throw the Red Planet on just for this video, and we'll rock this one out. Let me show you what this one looks like. This is, but look, this is one of the reasons, look, here's my Xiaomi, this phone right here, this is my uh, 10T, my 10T, my 10 Ultra. Okay, still running brand new. Let's activate this one. Now, select the view. Okay, that's the second one, and there's the third one. Now you have different ones, you got different places that you could beam into, I like to call that beaming, when you're beaming into that place. 
All right, so now we'll exit out of this. Here's my always on display, the red planet. If I hit the button, outer planet, boom, right to the surface. And look how smooth and fluent that is. I'm, I'm telling you, when you get a Xiaomi phone, you're going to find yourself doing this a lot. Now, I'm just looking at it, so that's my face unlock. That transition is just beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let's exit out of that. Let's go back to the, and there's a bunch of different ones to choose from. Let's see any other settings we need to see. Let's go to display. Okay, now, 1,200 nits brightness. I, now, that's not maximum nittage, but that's a lot of nittage. You got color schemes. Okay, I like to keep mine vivid, but you're going to have saturated original. Matter of fact, let's do saturated. Keep it nice and moist. Saturated and cool. That's how I like it. Refresh rate. Now you have variable, or you could push it to 60 or 120. Now, if you put it on variable, uh, vari <laughs> you put it on variable, it'll switch back and forth on its own. But you know, you drop 700 bucks, put it on 120. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery that charges from zero to 100% in 19 minutes. What are you trying to save battery for? Go crazy. All right, let's see, passwords and security. Of course, face unlock, screen uh, fingerprint sensor, Bluetooth unlock, nothing really to see there. Additional settings. Okay, so you got your quick ball. This is kind of a big phone, so if you got small hands, use the quick ball, it's gonna bring up a little ball, and you can use that to go back and forth instead of reaching all the way to the top and reaching all the way from the bottom. Accessibility, if you're hearing or visually impaired or physically impaired, all your different options on deck. Exit out of that. Let's go to special features. Okay, so you got your front camera assistant. You got floating windows. Okay, might as well leave those on. I'll show you how to look with it when I'm doing the multitasking. Second space. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about thought protection. I just call it thought protection, but the real name for it is second space. That's where you're going to find it in your menus. That's going to that's give you two phones at the same time. And you got heart rate. Okay, now this is something odd. Uh, this is kind of new. Let's see. Okay, 87, whew, okay, 87, now y'all remember, oh, this is the Galaxy Watch, y'all remember when I had the Apple Watch on, and I did it, and it was like 113, nah, bro, this is my real heart rate, right? my real heart rate is around 87, I'm, I'm a pretty healthy, I'm a pretty healthy old school dude, but anyway, you got your heart rate, uh, that's a nice little fun feature to play around with, anything else to see, now? that's pretty much it, now, let's check the uh, web browsing speeds, go to apple.com, Okay, just like that. Now, speaking of Apple.com, let me talk some shit real quick. A lot of people have been asking me, what's up with my iPhone 14 Pro Max real review? I'm going to do that this week. Okay, now I haven't had any chances to really take some dope pictures because we've been stuck in a rainstorm out here in New York City. I want to give some quality pictures. And not to mention, this is one of my daily driver phones. This and the Galaxy. All right, so when you see me with a daily driving phone, before I do that full review, I want to use it for more than a week. Now, I planned on using this for two weeks, and then I got sick. Now, if you notice, my voice is just now getting back to normal. I can actually laugh without coughing. So I'm going to do the iPhone full review this week. Since we just happen to be on whack-ass Apple's iPhone page, this is how it looks. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 120 hertz, excellent scrolling speeds. We could do some split-screen multitasking. Okay, so let's do, um, let's do, we'll exit out. As a matter of fact, we, we, we'll do something else on the bottom. Let's do mm, Apple support on the bottom. Okay, so we got Apple on the top and Apple support on the bottom. Now, if you buy an iPhone, you're going to need Apple support at some point. So you can actually shop for your iPhone and shop with support at the same time. Now, th now this might not seem like a big deal. But to this day and age, you can't do this on this. It seems that simple. Any budget Android phone you get, you could do split screen multitasking, two apps at the same time. With your iPhone, you're still going to be swiping back and forth. You don't get the full split screen experience. Kind of a downer. But anyway, there it is. Now we can also open this as a floating window. Okay, I got to, did I enable that? Okay, let me, well, I'll show you how that works in a minute. Anyway, multitasking, no issues at all. All right, so just in case you was wondering, here's how the floating windows works. Okay, I just enabled a little slider on the side. 
Now I got some apps right there. So say I want to open up Facebook. Bang, I could just open it up as a floating window. So I can be on Facebook. Let's say I want to look at the Play Store. I can be on the Play Store shopping for apps with my Facebook uh, floating window, put it to the side, or get rid of it. Okay, that's how floating windows works. All right, so now let's test the dual stereo speakers tuned by Harman Kardon. We got the official Flossy Carter sound test by the OG legend, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, pop a sound test. Everybody shut your mouth. Pop now Dolby Atmos is turned on. Test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass living? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? I gotta be honest, these speakers sound great. Watch, I'm gonna cover the bottom. Look how loud the top still is. You can feel the bass vibrating in the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. Excellent sounding speakers on a $700 Android phone. All right, so now let's take a look at this 6.67 inch AMOLED display, which Xiaomi is calling Crystal Res. Here we go. Basically, bezel-less design, 1200 nits brightness, excellent viewing angles. Beautiful. Little cutout for the camera. Other than that, all display. Let's keep it moving. All right, so let's do a little gaming. Asphalt 9. Got to know the procedures. Let's get it. Right out of the gate. Okay, tap and hold the drift. This is my first time playing this. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, a little wrap. Okay. Step up your game with the game turbo. I will right, we'll do that later. See that little message right there making me lose right now. I hope I gotta gotta catch up. We're playing with a 360. Woo! Okay, here we go. Let's get some 360s. As you see for yourself. Oh, 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 did I lose? Did I lose? I was about to say, is that my first time ever losing this game? All right, Woo. Let me stop playing around. All right, let me turn this off for a second. All right, so this phone is going to run Asphalt 9 and basically any other game from the Android market with no issues, Snapdragon 8 Plus, Generation 1, you already know what it is. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. And like I said earlier, I don't like to get too technical with the pixels and the resolution and all that mumbo jumbo. How does the camera work in the real world? Well, let's find out. Let's do a quick point and shoot. Matter of fact, I'll do a little portrait. All right, shoe's got a back turn, but let me show you a portrait I just shot. I just shot. <laughs> shoot, I just shot. <laughs> this is a quick portrait mode. The camera does take some beautiful photos. All right, shoes, you want to turn around and take a quick photo? All right, let's get shoes tail. Okay. Look at that. Looks good. I right, shoes, come on. Stop being a dick. All right, here it goes. Okay, now look at this. I just took some photos. These are just point and shoot photos. And they do come out beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the, look at the detail. Look at that. 
All right, so let's go through some of the different shooting modes. You got pro mode, okay, change your white balance, your shutter speed, your ISO. You got documents. You got video. Now, video, you got wide angle, and you can zoom all the way up to six times zoom. Okay, now from video, you also have 8K resolution, or you could do 4K, 60 frames per second, or 1080p. Okay, photos, you got wide angle, and now your zoom on this is 10 times zoom. So not the most scummiest scumbag zoom out. <laughs> All right, look, look at the shoes eyeball. All right, not the most scummiest zoom, but 10 times zoom, that's pretty good. You got portrait mode, you can change your blur effect. You got night mode, and you got wide angle, and 10 times zoom in night mode. And you also have Ultra HD. Okay, let's get an Ultra HD shot. Ooh, nice. Oh, this is the one. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. This is beautiful. All right, this is a nice shot right here. Okay, so you got Ultra HD. Let's exit out of that. You got short video, panorama, vlogs, slow motion, time lapse. You got movie effects. You got uh, long exposure, dual video, front and back at the same time, clone, and edit. Let's see. Okay, now for movie ones, we're going to have to download these. I actually never really play with this one too much, but let's try it out while we're here real quick. Let's try and see which these are. Okay, so downloading. All right, so I just downloaded all of the movie effects. So we got back in time. We got magic zoom, slow shutter, time freeze, night time lapse, and parallel world. Let's try parallel world. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you get the parallel world. We'll shoot some video like that. All right, we got two shoes right here in the, in the parallel world. <laughs> okay. Let's shoot some video like that. All right, that's a nice little effect to play with. <laughs> nice little video effects to play with. All right, so in the meantime, take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. This is, let's get a portrait. Let's see if we get a nice portrait of shoes right now, since you're trying to behave. Okay, look at this. Now, for point and shoot status, you're going to like this camera. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Take a look at these pictures for yourself, though.
All right, so now let's talk about one of my favorite features, the IR Blaster. Now this is one of those features that keeps me on Xiaomi's nuts because I actually love it. Once you use a phone that has an IR Blaster, it's gonna be hard to go back to using a phone that doesn't have one. Now I know a lot of people think that IR Blasters only control TVs, but that's not the case. You got TVs, you got set-top boxes, air conditioners, fans, heaters, projectors, Okay, you got cameras, satellite TV, refrigerators, anything that you can use your remote control on, you can use your phone to set up that universal remote. This is pretty epic. And let me show you how I use mine the most. All right, check this out. Now from the phone, I'm gonna select the Mi remote. I added the Sony controller. Watch this. There's my TV. We're gonna hit the power button. fully functional remote control. Now, if I want to turn the TV off, just like that, the IR Blaster is a major go. Now let's do one of my favorite tests, the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just spent 700 bucks on the phone. How does it work in the real world? Let's find out. Now this one doesn't have wireless charge. So you're going to have it on the table charging like this. Let's check the Charge animation. Beautiful. Okay, nice and vibrant and clear to see. Very easy. All right, so first thing you're gonna do, you wake up in the morning. This is how your phone's gonna look on the table. Always on display, nice and bright. You're gonna see your time, date, battery percentage. And if you got any notifications, they're gonna be on the bottom. Now, the first thing I like to do, I don't have to touch the phone. I don't have to do any biometrics. I just look at it. Bang. Just like that, pops right open. All right, so the first thing I do, swipe over, check my Google feed. Let's get a fresh refresh. And I'll see what's going down in the world of Google feed. Okay, so we got the Beats by Dre Power Beats 3. Okay, now this is some new stuff. Okay, I didn't know they had some new ones out. Okay, let's see what's going down in the world of Britney Grinner. <laughs> in the Britney Grinner trials and tribulations. Let's see, um, police officer pulls over Lamborghinis and seriously regrets it. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and like that because I'm gonna have to come back and check this out. Okay, Casetify, Casetify going hard right now, which on a side note, there's a lot of controversy going on with the Casetify case video that I just dropped, which I don't understand why. Okay, people acting like, oh, like, I don't really like Casetify, like, oh, they, they, they bribed me to make a video. I've been reviewing case to five cases for the last seven or eight years, okay? I don't know what's wrong with some of y'all, but y'all need to just calm down and, you know, take your hater hat off and take a day off. Yo, damn, yo, stop hating. All right, damn. Let's see, judge issues ruling in 70 zeros, act of rape trial. Okay, we don't know nothing about that. Let's see, four watches every man should own. Okay. I don't, I don't like telling me, people telling me what I need to own. Okay, let's see. Montaro uh, Origins, some MK9 stuff. Anyway, but you get the idea. Here's your, <laughs> these two. <laughs> uh, okay, my, what's, what's up with Ronnie Coleman? All right, Ronnie Coleman look at extra swole. Shout out to my man, Tony Yayo. Talking to the cops on Vlad TV. Okay. My dude, Chris Hansen right here. Now I gotta say this, my man Hansen. Let me see what's up with Hansen. Yeah. All right, anyway, so that's your Google feed. Exit out of that. Next thing I wanna do is check the weather. Okay, weather looking good. Okay, 61 degrees. Nice and cloudy. Oh, now check this out. This is what I'm talking about. Now, we finally got a nice day tomorrow. Okay, Thursday. So I'm going to be able to take some iPhone photos in preparation of my review. Okay, so we got some nice weather coming up. 72 degrees. Perfect. Now, let's do a little work. So I got all my Gmails. Let's take it over to Gmail and see what they're talking about. Okay. Uh, okay, I read my work emails. Let's hit reply. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. I'm off today. Now, that's kind of the usual response when people email me on my days off. Be like, nah, bro. I could just answer the email, but nah, I got to let you know I'm off, bro. Leave me alone. All right, so that's my work segment of the day. Now, next thing I want to do, let's do a little social media savagery. Let's take it over to Facebook. Now, I purposely didn't turn on dark mode. Okay, we got the beam. We got the beam. I, I had to, now, this picture, on a side note, this picture was taken with this Xiaomi phone. Okay, let's see. Um, I remember when it was smoke gray, but it's red. Nah, bro, that's a different car. <laughs> different car, bro. I got, I, 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 different car, bro. 
Different car, bro. How do I spell it? All right, different car. What the fuck? Okay, different car, bro. You can't be letting that kind of stuff slide, yo. Different car, bro. Okay, you know, because you know, we try, we try to clown you. I don't remember. Nah, 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 nah. All right, anyway, let's see. We got Pudge Won't Budge. Stack. All right, get rid of the dad bods. I'm in the process of doing that right now. Okay, we got the little kids. Okay, I look like he waiting for Pops to go pick him up from school. Like, yo, Pops, where you, where you at, bro? Okay, my man, Nathan. I catching a fresh fish, du double fisting some fish. <laughs> okay, double fisting out here. Okay, let's see. Cialis? Bro, why am I getting these old man ads now? I ain't that old. It's like Facebook know your birthday. They're like, oh, bro, you you over 40 now? Cialis. <laughs> nah, I'm good, bro. Hennessy. I use Hennessy, man. Y'all can keep the Cialis. All right, let's see anything else. Let's see Amber. Okay. Got, you know, got, got the rompers on. Girls, that call that a romper? Is that called a romper? <laughs> All right, okay. There's a rompers alert. Okay, my man Sonny right here. The strongest beards in the game. Okay, anyway. Anaya out here. Okay. Anyway, so this is how your Facebook looks. And then, okay. Okay. Everything. Oh, this is a family show. Oh, speaking of family show. Speaking of family show, let's do a little shopping while we're here. Go to flossycarter.net. Okay. Go to flossycarter.net. This is my website. Now I got to do a shameless plug. Okay. We do have the merch. You know, speaking of family show, check this out. We got some new merch. Now y'all see the white shoes mug. Number one seller right here. We got the new t-shirts right here. Y'all need y'all need this one. This is a family show. We got this is a family t-shirt. Uh, this is a family show t-shirt. And of course, RDA, regular daily activities. Okay. But this is my new favorite shirt from my favorite uh YouTuber, Flossie Carter. All right, this is the family. Uh, when you buy this shirt, you can't just say, oh, this is a family show. You gotta say it like this. You gotta be like, this is a family show. Anyway. All right, so we do a little shopping, keep it moving. Now let's take it over to Twitter. Let's see what's going down in the Twitter sphere. All right, let's go. Let's let's see my mentions. Let's see anybody talking about. Okay, we need to check this one out. Uh, matter of fact, let's let's go back to the top. <laughs> now I tweeted to Google. <laughs> I tweeted to Google that the Pixel Seven is going to be a triple major go. This is the kind of response I get. I'm gonna let I, look. Let's see. Let's see. All right, the new Pixel. Everybody talking about the new Pixel. But how, how does it feel in the hands? Giggity. We got a number one giggity right there. Let's see. Okay, now, now personally, I think the Pixel 7 is going to be dope. But let's see. If they don't add face unlock, you know I'm going to have to roast them for that. But you know, the Pixel software is going to be epic. The camera is going to be epic. Hardware is going to be epic. But we'll see. Because, you know, the, the thing about Pixel phones, they always tend to forget certain things. Certain things, as Tony Soprano would say. Here's a perfect example, face unlock. This is why you need face unlock. Don't nobody want to always use their fingerprint. A lot of times I'm doing black people stuff. Y'all know, eating fried chicken, drinking watermelon, <laughs> drinking wa drinking watermelon flavored soda. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I got great Kool-Aid in my back pocket. A lot of times I, my, my hands are, are, are occupied. You know what I'm saying? I might be drinking some hot Hennessy. I don't always have time to do that. You want to pick your phone up and just go like this. Your phone on the table, uh, you got the chicken grease. You just want to be, hold on a second. Okay, and drop it. I don't, I don't like phones that force you to have to touch it. iPhones, they force you to touch it. Okay, this one you don't have to touch. Basically a 6 Pro, okay. Now look, everybody, there's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of, okay, now look, can we get a real review of the Nreal AR glasses? Uh, bro, let me tell you something. The Nreal AR glasses, those change my life. Wait till you see the video. I already shot a video for that. Those change my life. Okay, and remember I'm saying this right now. Nreal AR smart glasses, you need those. You need those, those will change your life. And when you hear me talking like this, that means I'm serious. All right, anyway, so that's why, um, let's see, let's see. Um, JBL, let's see, thanks for the review about the JBL. Okay, somebody just bought the JBL. Okay, $4.99, look man, you gotta pay to play. Exit out of that. Now, let's take it over to TikTok. Okay, it's about to get spicy. Let's um turn the volume down and remember the artist. Okay, so far this is nice and this, all right, this is nice and classy so far, you know. Okay, that that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. That ain't too okay. My ex said I would never wear a bikini. All right, this is about to be a nice transformation story. This is what I like to see. Motivational transportation store uh transformation stories. Cause you see she was a little large and in charge, and now she just dropped that weight. I like to see that kind of stuff. Okay. 
Let's see, we got the Lambo giveaways. Okay, now y'all know I'm a fat F. All right, I'm a fat F. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Oh, girl, this is a family. Uh. All right, grandma out here, grandma out here getting this up. Yo, somebody come get grandma phone. Yo, 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 let me call, call. Yo, go get, take grandma phone. She out here wilding out. Let's see, who this? Um, okay, A Boogie. A Boogie, right? This is what I like to see, too. This is what I like to see. You know, y'all know I'm into jewelry. All right, so I like to see dudes doing it big. Okay, now I was watching this racing sim the other day. This is that, uh, what, a set old? Real nice. Okay, now what's this? Okay, we got some pranks. Now, this is what I don't like. All right, this is one thing I don't like, playing pranks on random strangers because, you know, everybody's not playing. And look like my man right here is not playing. He look like he with the shits. Let's see what he's talking about because he look like he's not playing. Oh, he said boy. <laughs> see, this what I'm saying. He calling people boy. Let's see that first guy, because that first guy looked like he was about to deliver the, the shits. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to hand you shit. You see, see, this is what I'm saying. These are the kind of pranks that I don't like to see, though. But you see, let me, let me, let me. That yeah, y'all know I'm your, I'm your um liaison to the black community. I all my white friends out there, my Asian friends, my Indian friends. Uh, let me be your liaison to the black community and let me give you some advice. When you see a black guy do this, all right, when you see a black guy go go from front to back hat, when the hat goes backwards, that means that the chances of shit popping off have increased exponentially. All right, I just, I just want to throw that out there. But I don't like that, man. Leave people alone. Because what if my dude right there, he might have had three glasses of Hennessy. You know, his girl might have just left him that morning and you playing a prank for some TikTok views. You could have just lost some teeth. You know what I'm saying? Is, that, is, that, is it that serious for likes? People doing anything for clout nowadays, man. For real. Clout is a hell of a drug, man. And clout is a hell of a drug. Okay, now, look. I got some of these in my house right now, which I'm not going to eat. But we're trying to bribe my nephew into eating. And if he does, I'll make a video about that. This is what I like to see. All right. Alcoholic beverages. Not alcohol. Alcohol. Drinking alcohol. All kind of alcoholic beverages. Okay, young young mama. Okay, anyway, so this is your TikTok. Okay, now this is a family. This is a family. This is a family. Anyway, look at look at my item. My well, little friends. You know what I'm saying? Now this is what I like to see on TikTok too. I hang out with your friends, make your little dances and all that, and have a good time. Enjoy your life, man. Let me get it like that. Let me go ahead and put a little love on that one. Anyway, so that's your TikToks. Now, let's take it over to Instagram. Okay, let's see what's going down on the Grizzam. Okay, my man Goob out here exposing uh, fake influencers one at a time. I'm right, doing, doing God's work out here. Oh, this is a family girl. Let me see what that was, though. Yeah, this is definitely a family. So you, yo, fellas, you do not. You, I'll just leave the names of y'all want to go look for yourself. Bro, <laughs> this is all right. Let's see. Um, who this? I right, Drewski. I don't know. I don't be knowing all these new cats. Look at all that bread, yeah. <laughs> that bread. That bread looks healthy. That bread looks all glazed up. The top of the bread looks all glazed. That look like a glazed donut. All right, cats. I right, shoes. Look at your people's out here. Shoes. Your people's out here running wild. Anyway, okay. This is my man right here. My one of my security guard friends. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Personal security. Now, what is he drinking? A whole bottle? Drinks a whole bottle? Okay, look at this. Now, we look, we're going to have to see this together, y'all. He's guzzling a whole bottle that looks like maybe some flavored vodka. Let's see. What is that? Okay, I don't know. Okay, now this is see, now this is the kind of shit that I don't like. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not following just to see the rest of that video. It's not that serious for me. Okay, we got Ice Spice. You thought I was feeling you? <laughs> oh, what's Boosie talking about? Bo Boosie mad at somebody right now. Boosie, stay talking to the cops, a.k.a. Vlad. Now, this is a family. Uh, you had to go through that fast. All right, anyway. All right. Anyway. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is going to look, Skull Candy. Okay. Charlemagne reacts to Ye wearing the White Lives Matter shirt. Look, man. 
Kanye West is Kanye West, man. You know, I, I stopped taking Kanye West serious a long time ago. He be saying the dumbest shit, but people be idolizing him like he's some kind of genius. Look, he makes good music. Let's just leave it at that. Now, am I going to be getting relationship advice from Kanye West? No. No. Do I need life advice from Kanye West? No. Uh, if you want to tell me, you know what I'm saying, you, you got some new Yeezys coming out, I might look at those. But as far as all his political views and all that stuff, who cares? Some of y'all need to learn how to separate the art from the artist. Okay, now I was just having this conversation with somebody the other day about R. Kelly. I still like R. Kelly music, but as far as R. Kelly as a person, he's a diabolical scumbag. Okay, and I don't rock with him like that. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is going to look. And um, I think we got to exit out of Instagram. Let's take it to my Instagram where it's safe real quick. And again, this is a photo that I, I posted today using this phone. Okay, using this phone, which brings me to my point. If you're just posting pictures for Instagram and, and Snapchat and all that stuff, you don't need to have the best phone in the world. You know, you don't need to spend a thousand bucks for an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Look, I'm, she, was, she was being a dick. As soon as, I, as soon as she get cute, and then when I want to take the photo, she want to move. Look at that. Point and shoot. Anyway, let me get to wrap this up. RDHS, regular daily activities, as you see for yourself, no issues at all. Go to YouTube, watch your videos. Let's see, let's see now, active self-protection. Now, this is the channel I'll be watching. Exit out of that. You got picture and picture. Okay, exit out of that. Full multitasking, y'all already seen. All these apps running in the background. This phone is a beast. All right, this phone is a certified beast. Now, there's one more thing that I want to show you. Second space. All right, so let me show you how second space works. Basically, this is like having two phones at the same time. Now, I'm going to use my thumbprint, unlock the phone. This is the wallpaper that you've seen for the whole video. Let's go to Facebook. This is my Facebook. All right, that's me. Let's go to Instagram. This is my Instagram. Let's go to TikTok. This is my TikTok. And let's go to gallery. These are all of the photos that I took. Now, watch this. Instead of using my thumbprint, I'm going to use a different fingerprint, which I call my thought print, because this is taking me into thought protection mode. Now look at the phone. You see it fit, switched over just that fast. Let's go to Facebook. Okay. Matter of fact, let's close this app out, because these are apps I had running already. Let's go to Facebook. No Facebook logged in. Okay. Let's go to TikTok. No TikTok. Let's go to Instagram. No Instagram logged in. And let's go to gallery. No photos on deck. So now I don't have to lock my phone up. I can just leave it on the table just like this. And the reason I call it thought protection is because if you're dealing with a thought, you leave your phone on the table unlocked. The first thing they want to do is go to your Instagram, see who you DMing. No Instagram. They want to go to your gallery, see what kind of scumbag photos you got. No photos. They want to go to your Facebook, no Facebook. Go to your TikTok, no TikTok. This is pretty dope. Okay, now when I'm ready to come back into gentleman mode, I'm going to use my thumbprint again. You heard that little click? And watch this. Bang, just like that. Now I can go to Facebook. There's my Facebook again. I could go back to Instagram. Fully logged in. Let me know. I could go to TikTok, fully logged in, and my gallery, all of my photos back on deck. Second space, also known as thought protection. Anyway, let's kind of wrap this up. Overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna say the Xiaomi 12T Pro is a major, major, major go. And at 700 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. The only thing that you can really complain about this phone is there's no wireless charge, which you don't necessarily need because you can charge it from zero to 100% in under 20 minutes. Why do you need wireless charge? You can just carry around that big charger and charge it up just like that. That's my only gripe. I, I still would rather have wireless charge anyway though because personally, I use wireless charge in my car and I like reverse wireless charging because I got a lot of earbuds that have wireless charge when I go somewhere. 
Look, I haven't charged the earbuds by plugging them in in a minute because most of the earbuds that I use have wireless charge. Put them right on the back of my Galaxy phone, charge them up. So I like having wireless charge and reverse wireless charge. I also like having full IP68 dust and water resistance. Okay, and I like having Quad HD displays. So that's why I said I would take the regular 12 Pro over this version. But with the 12T Pro, you got the big flat panel. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but with the 12 Pro, you got a little curved display, very subtle. But some people just hate curved displays. Personally, I'd rather have a big flat panel like this. This one has a bigger battery. Okay, 120 watt, fast charge, beautiful camera, beautiful sound and speakers, excellent display. The build quality is on point. This is a dope phone right here. Okay, this is a dope phone. Whether you love Xiaomi or you hate Xiaomi, you gotta respect them. Uh, you gotta respect them. This is a beast right here. Anyway, Xiaomi 12T Pro, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat does a lot. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss from Mountain. Deuces. Spock on the beam up. Energize. Everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.